Today my author is Catherine Ann Porter. Um, Catherine Ann Porter died, well, Catherine died September 18, 1980. Um, she was born May 15, 1890. Uh, she's known to be an American journalist, um, essayist, short story writer, novelist, and political art, um, well, political activist. And you can see this because um, she was very much into the female rights um, and feminism. Um, so today my project is Display as a Sunflower. Um, and the petals which have all the six quotes um, are falling down since they're both in sunflower. And this is because a lot of her writing and the stories that I chose for this project um, have very dark, sentimental uh, means to it. Um, we give the very realistic view to human relationships um, and just human the thought process of the human mind. Um, so the first one is he and it says Mrs. Ripple loved her second son, the simple minded one, and better than she loved better one than she loved the other two children put together. And this one's um Mrs. Whipple is the main character. Um and she throughout the throughout the book it Porter portrays her as she really loves um, the simple minded one but Mrs. Whipple really does it because of the danger she puts in there kind of keep, keeps them and treats them like a servant uh, and kind of wants everybody else or kind of pulls herself that she really loves them and in the end it uh, unfortunately he dies because of her lack of love um and then Maria, this one is she carried about a dozen living bowels slung over the right shoulder and this one is Maria Concepcion this one was the first story I wrote and it was pretty interesting because it's about revenge um and marriage and so this hardworking woman, which is Maria, falls, uh, has her husband, but then finds out that he cheats on her, and um, he leaves her for the second woman, comes back, she accepts him, and then not feeling happy about accepting him, she goes out and kills her, kills the other wife that she fell in love, he fell in love with. Um, so it's really about revenge, um, and kind of shows the evil side of humanity. Um, this one is magic and says, Madam Blanchard, believe that I am very happy to be here with you and your family because it is so sweet. Um, and this one is about, um, magic at Dalton Williams and this is a African American read, um, employee telling her employer that she was very bad, happy to be here because of her experience in the last house that she was, um, because her boss was very cruel and use magic uh, to kind of cover up uh, her cheating them with money um, and just kind of trapping them as slaves in there. Um, this one is Rope. So says, had he brought the coffee, she had been waiting all day long for coffee. Um, this one is the most humorous that she does. Um, and it's about disagreement uh, between husband and wife. He goes out and gets all the groceries, but instead of getting the one item that she wants, which is coffee, he gets a piece of rope for no reason. And so you can just see the development of the disagreement over that little period, uh, over that little item. Um, this one is Bill stared at it and blew his nose. I got it at Mickey's for $95, he said. Um, and this one is talking about uh, this rich woman who kind of doesn't trust her janitor. Um, and believes that she stole, that her donor stole her precious purse, um, but it wasn't true. Um, and so this story kind of portrays the love of money, the love of materialism, and the lack of trust as well. Um, because she finds out that uh, what she loves the most isn't uh, others, it's only for herself. It's very selfish. Um, this story is called The Martyr. It says Ruben, the most illustrious painter in Mexico, was deeply in love with his model Isabel. And this one is about um, friendship, it's about uh, denial and rejection. Uh, and this one talks about uh, Ruben, who is the main uh, character of the story, falls in love with his model, but she doesn't love him back. And so then because of that, falls into depression, falls into um, uh, sickness and can't eat anymore and that leads to his death but when he was living his friends were helping him and trying to help him to get over her as much as possible because he couldn't see uh, that she was very abusive to him uh, so it talks about abusive relationships and it talks about just rejection and how some people can deal with it really harshly 
Um, and so she was very, throughout her, her stories, it was very third person. So it's very, it was very rare to find a story that uh, revealed who the main character was with names and everything. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay.